Hi, so I'm Richie from Team Punisher Airsoft UK. And I'm Nick from also Team Punisher Airsoft UK. So we're doing a um, third video in our series of comparing guns. It's Tokyo Marie again, yeah. TM again. So people who make guns and uh, comparing them to the same gun in a, in a different range. So today we're looking at Tokyo Marie Scar H. Beautifully done up in oh. tan. Very nice. Very nice. And we're also looking at another Scar H, this time in black. But this is WE. So uh, looking at them on the outside, obviously very similar. So mm. we're just going to talk about a few of the differences mm. to start off with. So first of all, just to uh, annoy Nick, how much did you pay for your <laughs> Scar H, Nick? Uh, including magazines, it cost me around the £600 mark. Um, the gun itself was five, I believe. And the magazines are about the £35 mark each. Now it comes with a low cap, but I, I generally prefer to carry less magazines. So I, I bought three high caps, which hold 500 odd rounds, which is quite nice. It's a nice big high cap, but again, £35 a mag, three magazines, £100 worth of magazines. <coughs> so how much did mine cost? So I got mine on Black Friday um, <laughs> this year. Um, this only cost £220. Kind of thing. So what, what's your FPS kicking out, Nick? Uh, I can see why we're doing this video now. I, I can see the end result. <laughs> Mine is TM and it's unmodified and it's um, 290 FPS down okay. the box. So, what's WE, yours? Un, unmodified. I had to dial the hop down a bit on this, getting a chrono test the other day. 350 mm -hmm. kind of thing. And then my magazines are £25 okay. and they're a high cap. Which okay. is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, it comes in tan as well if you do want it in tan. One of the things I noticed actually when, when you got this, this was in a kind of hollow box with a zip tie to the box, and it's, there's nothing else in the box but a little leaflet thrown in. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the G and G scar, the 5.56 version, and um, it feels very similar to the G and G one. The battery change is a little bit better on this, yeah. Um, but with this, there's a little pin here that goes through, and a really annoying little spring to hold it on. Oh, I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, a little that. about three millimeters, and it's so easy to lose. It pings off. Show it to the camera. Trying to so change the battery, it won't pick it up at all. But here, the most ridiculous, silly idea. Um, the, what I like about the scars, masses of rail. Yeah, you get anything on here. Um, you know, you can get a Scar grenade launcher, mm -hmm. obviously, or you can even get a 203 or a Madball, a little mini Madball grenade launcher on there. It's very, very easily done. So I've already fitted one of there. You get your grip on there, you get your torches on here. Yeah. You can have a, any scope on the planet if you like to. So you, you can make, I've got some fantastic photos of Nick with a, with a scope on here. I put a little razor on mine just because when I've got my mesh guard on, I, I can't quite get it down, so that helps just a little yeah. bit. But. So yeah, I, I like a, a reasonably small scope on here as well. Um, usual kind of thing, ambidextrous fire selector. Yep, same. Just on both sides, yep. semi and full auto. Nice big button for mag release. Yeah, I got that it's both sides It's quite good. Well. Um, you can cock it, kind of thing, and it all... So that's, that's interesting, because mine's different. Mine's set up with that come on the other side. Yeah. And if mine won't do that, all that does is open the hop window. I hadn't noticed that before, so cock and lever on the other side. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I do believe you can swap it over. Yeah, I think so. Mine as well. So that's quite easy as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, the main point of this gun is the stock folds over. So if you are trying to transport it in a vehicle, nice easy. Yeah. Um, if you're in a CQB situation, which you probably wouldn't use this gun for, it's a mm -hmm. 7.62. I have, and it works. Yeah, yeah, in reality, yeah, but in airsoft. In reality, <laughs> you wouldn't. Um, flip up sights. I actually really don't like these sights, so I, I would use a kind of red dot mm. or scope on here. I don't get on with these sights at all, but they do just push a button. Are your sights the same as mine? Yeah, yeah push a similar. button and it flips up and I can lock it. Very similar. Yeah. Sling attachments on the gun as well, kind of thing. Um, I, I did like the G&G &G version of this, but uh, it was the battery change. That did my head in. He sold it on to me and I had it modified and all sorts of bits and pieces done to it and I still found it just a nightmare. The whole the whole rear stock design and battery and everything just weird. Didn't make sense. And when Wind you come up. to Tokyo Marui, these guys you push the pin through, it won't come out so you don't have to lose it. The butt plate comes off and you've got it's all just so nicely engineered. That flips open your 8.4 slides in there. 
it goes across, connects up, this goes back on. Simple, done, seconds and you're ready to go. The main difference between our two weapons, I mean, they look sort of virtually similar, but it's the fact that this has the recoil engine in it. So when you pull the trigger, I wish I had a battery in it now, I could show you, but you get a really nice cycle and just a little bit of a jolt off of it. It makes nice. it feel so realistic, it's lovely. Yeah, it's a lovely feel. So uh, 220 pounds should have been around the 300 pound mark versus 500. Yeah. What would you go for? <laughs> I'd still have mine, my recoil, it just makes me smile. And everybody hears it and they run away because of the sound it makes. They're like, what is that? Whoa. I'd go for the TM as well, actually. <laughs> I'd never mind it was a Black Friday, come up, I've got to buy something. That is a bargain though, folks, so, definitely. Yeah, buy TM is the answer. Anyway, thanks for watching, <laughs> and we're going to go and chrono these and fire them again. Cool. Cheers. So now we're going to chrono the scar. We're starting with the WE. We're using point twos. Terry's filming it. So just a couple of shots out. One, two, three. Four, five, six. There you go. What are we on? We're all around about 350, 360. 355-ish as an average. Okay. Um, the hop is dialed up a bit. If you dial the hop down, it's around 320. So that's cool. Okay, let's have a look at the Scar H. Over the neck. Okay. 285, 284, 285, 285. Listen to that sound. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. They're all about the 280, 290. Right, so now we're going to do a little little range test. Yeah. What are we aiming at? Um, it's about 40 foot away across the garden, just an old swing set. Right, just okay. a wooden frame swing set. You go for one side, I'll, I'll go for the other. Okay. okay. Thanks for watching guys. Oh, have fun.